Okay, we are live. You guys wouldn't believe this, but I just made a huge mistake, and we just did an entire 30-minute live interview without it being live. So yeah. sorry about that, Tony, but it's a good learning experience for, uh, for everybody <laughs> and gives you practice talking, gives me practice messing up. Awesome stuff. <laughs> so, hey, guys, uh, if you're watching this, hit the like, share, uh, comment here. I'm here with Tony Walsh. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And, Thanks for having me, Ben. Yeah. And you are the candidate, the federal candidate for the NDP party. Yes. Okay. And for Chatham Kent Leamington. So, That's right. And this whole idea is to get to know you, what you're about, and so people can get to just know the human behind the party. And so this is what we're going to do. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Do you got a family? What's going yeah, on? Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a lovely wife. Um, she works here in Chatham. Uh, I've got three kids, three boys, nine, seven, and two. So they're a lot of fun. Okay. I've got my uh, nine and seven year old are starting hockey next week. They just finished summer soccer and flag football. Uh, they do karate all year round. So um, I taxi them around and uh, I'm, I'm into watching their sports and cheering for them. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. My two year old is busy, a busy little guy. Um, have lots of fun uh, dance parties at home and uh, just... Well, now that the campaign started, they they come out on the trail <laughs> with me, and uh, they're excited to carry my signs and yeah. and, and the signs have your face, so they, it's more exciting did, for yeah. the kids. So <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's that. Yeah, I know they like that a lot. <laughs> they uh, they like that. Uh, their friends like that. Their friends mm. are getting their parents to get one of my signs yeah. so that they can have, um, you know, their their. Harry and Lennox's dad on their lawn. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, it's been it's really fun. So we're we're excited and and uh, you know being being a dad's been a fantastic uh, fantastic thing. I'm a big kid myself. Yeah. Love playing with uh, with these guys and uh, it's been just so rewarding. It's been great, awesome stuff. Now, what got you into politics? Uh, yeah, so it's not something that uh, I ever saw myself doing, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but uh, you know, I've spent over 20 years uh, in the financial services uh, as a banker, helping people. I've spent even more time um, working with charities and nonprofits, uh, helping people. Uh, and uh, I guess you know, working uh, in the banks and helping people uh, try to retire or afford a, a home, or helping them save for their kids' education. Uh, you know, I saw how much of a struggle it was for the majority. Of folks here in Chatham County, Leamington, and then on the other side, working with uh, charities and nonprofits, I saw how many folks here in Chatham County, Leamington, um, need additional support. And I thought, you know, there's got to be a better way to do this. Uh, there's, so, you know, you start thinking, okay, uh, provincial, federal, maybe municipal. You know, what mm -hmm. do we need to do here from a policy standpoint uh, to help folks and to help and to do more? Mm -hmm. And uh, ultimately, I was asked. I was asked uh, if if I get involved uh, politically and uh, and try to make a difference from that standpoint, and I uh, did a little bit of research. Um, I, you know, went on YouTube, watched some videos. Um, and I got to say, I was you know I was inspired by the late uh, Jack Layton, mm -hmm. um, a great man, um, cared very dearly uh, about this country and about uh, the people all over Canada. And uh, you know, it was, it was some of his efforts and his fight um, for all of us that uh, truly inspired me and, and made me uh, dive into politics. I think Jack Layton uh, was a man that inspired people from all parties. You know, that was certainly uh, he was a good guy. Certainly, certainly. Guy. Yeah. So now that you're on the campaign trail, um, Chatham Kent Leamington is a big area to, co to cover. How are yeah. you doing that? Uh, well, I do it uh, you know as best you can. Um, so, you know, in my job as a banker, I, I cover uh, Chatham-Kent, uh, parts down into Leamington a little bit. I, I worked in Leamington uh, in, with the bank for, for a number of years as well. So I think, you know, you, you, unfortunately you have to drive. We don't have uh, public uh, yeah. transit that's going to get us around. So you drive, uh, uh, you need a team uh, of folks that are out there. Yep. Uh, representing you and and you need volunteers mm -hmm. and uh, so that, you know that's the main main way that you do it you got to touch everyone and then social media yeah um, reach out to people that way now now you've done this before you ran in yeah. 2015 yeah. Yeah. how was that experience what did you learn yeah. from that experience <laughs> and how are you applying it or changing yeah. things up well, this time yeah no, ben, that, that, yeah that was a very fun uh, experience so uh, you know it was all about change uh, back then 
And uh, I got to meet so many great people all throughout Chatham County Leamington. Um, very rewarding. You know, I, I think of you know, schools that I visited. Um, where I'm just inspired to see, you know, the, the, the future leaders, uh, yeah. the, the future folks that are going to make a difference uh, for our community, for our country. Um, very inspiring. Uh, or even just, you know, f the, the care homes that I went into and uh, the, the veterans that I got to meet um, and just thank for their service. You know, it just was so rewarding. Um, I, going door to door, you know, you just meet so many people. And uh, I, I had a lot of fun. I, you know, I love, I love talking to people. I love finding out what's important to them and, and, and working towards helping them. I've been doing that my whole life uh, with my career in banking and, and the nonprofits and charities I've worked with. And so I was just able to expand on that. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a great experience. I, I wouldn't be doing this again if I didn't enjoy it and, uh, and felt hopeful that uh, I can make a difference. Now, what were the, some of the neat experience that you might experience at a door, good and bad? Any, <laughs> you know, because they're all uh, yeah. neat and fun in yeah. a way, even the bad ones. So I would say that there was there was no bad experiences. Like there there was folks uh, that maybe outwardly wouldn't support um, my party, and uh, you know they 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 were adamant about that, but I was still able to engage in good conversation mm -hmm. with them, and so you get something out of that. You get the feedback. You get you get something out of that interaction. I would say that you know there was nothing, you know, nothing too exciting that uh, you know it's gonna you know movie material. You right. know, it was it was <laughs> it was just good, honest people having a conversation, um, talking about what's important to them. Absolutely, awesome stuff. Um, what do you think is an important issue in Chatham Kent Leamington, especially for the NDP party? Sure. Well, I think you know what's important to folks in Chatham Kent Leamington. Um, it's the economy, it's affordability. Um, you know, these are, these are things where, you know, we hear about the, the Canadian economy is doing well. We hear that our national uh, employment, unemployment rate is, is the lowest it's ever been. But the average person in Chatham County Leamington, they're not seeing any, anything different. They're not seeing more money in their bank account. Uh, they're not seeing their, their investment savings growing at, at a level that they can achieve their retirement goals or their kids' education goals. Remember, I got three kids. Mm -hmm. I, know how, I know exactly how much it's, it's projected to cost for each one of them to go to school. I retired once. I went back to, back to work you know, to, to save up that nest egg for the third child. Um, and it, you know, it, it's, it's, it's tough. It's a tough battle out there. So I think that's probably one of the biggest issues facing us here in Champ County Leamington and, and jobs and uh, you know, the job creation here is stagnant. Um, we've got shutdowns of manufacturing from decades before. Mm -hmm. Nothing's been done about that. Yep. Uh, no plan in place to change it really. Um, so, you know, and, and it all comes back to the environment. You know, we've got a global climate crisis and it's it's time for us to fight this crisis, that, you know, because like we want to win, mm -hmm. and I think we can achieve that um, by focusing on cutting back uh, the subsidies, eliminating, in fact, the subsidies to the big oil and gas companies. Um, let's invest that money in retrofits for homes, electric transit, electric cars, you know, the, the things that matter. That's going to make life more affordable. For us mm -hmm. here in Chatham Kent Leamington, um, but also it's going to allow us to attain um, those goals that the the world has 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 set for for battling global climate crisis. Now Chatham Kent has declared a climate crisis uh, emergency, I believe. Mm -hmm. And how do you how would you work with the municipality of Chatham Kent and Leamington and, yeah. and such? Yeah, so yeah, in, in particular, I think if we're looking at you know, flooding issues and our shoreline erosion, um, you know, th this is something. This is something that we need to tackle at not just a municipal level, certainly not at the, uh, you know, the private sector. Um, we we need to come together, everyone, mm -hmm. uh, federal level and the provincial level, um, if we want to be serious about attacking the climate crisis and protecting our shorelines. Mm -hmm. So we need federal funding for that. We need to prioritize our spending on that. Um, instead of giving that money over to oil and gas companies uh, so their CEOs can buy corporate jets and limousines. That's not the way to fight climate crisis. All right. Now let's go to the global scale. Uh, on a global scale, uh, what do you think our biggest challenge is as a, a country? Uh, on a global scale? Well, I mean, the environment is a global issue as well. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, if we take that aside, if we look at foreign trade, you know, we've got issues... Um, with our major trading partner um, with the United States. And um, there's 
issues in China as well. Um, that's not just um, trade, but just uh, you know what's happening with our detained uh, citizens over there. Um, but you know, I think we have to look at you know the agricultural sector, very important to us here in Chatham County, mm -hmm. Huntington, and uh, and. You know, my, my friends out in the prairies there are having a very hard time right now because of some of the issues we're having with trade with China and, and getting our, our crops out there. So uh, it's a, a challenging issue, but we need to focus on it. We need to do more than just, um, you know, what, what I think Harper's plan and what Trudeau has failed to do is um, to deal with Donald Trump and the Americans. Um, and we, we need to do a better job of that. So, okay. Yeah. This is the first time somebody said Donald Trump here. Yeah, yes. I know you're a fan. I'm a big fan, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan. So um, let's go um, shift it a little bit here. The Liberals and the NDP, sometimes people kind of say one wants to vote for one, or if they don't believe it, go to the other one. Why should people just kind of stick? I'm a firm believer in stick with what you believe mm -hmm. and just because you don't think somebody's going to get in, that shouldn't sway your vote to something that yeah. you're not totally in agreement with. Yeah. you got to support the party. And, and I tell people, you know, if you support the Greens or the NDPs or whatever, stick with them, mm. right? Because next time they'll have more, you know, energy going towards them. What do you say to people that say, well, the NDPs have no chance. you got to come to the Liberals, okay? Because that's mm. most of it. It's not because, you know, go all the way to the Conservatives or whatever. <laughs> Or the PPC. Yeah. What do you say to them and to stick with your party and what your party stands for? Yeah, well, I mean, I could touch on this and we could talk a whole half hour just about this. But, um, you know, we, we had a decade of Harper's Conservatives making cuts uh, to Canadians, to us, um, in our services. They cut taxes for the top, top 1%, but the services they cut for all of us. Uh, then we have four years of in action, really, on Trudeau's part. Um, the, the Liberals have failed to deliver on their promises. And one of those promises, actually, was electoral reform. So, you know, the last election in 2015 was supposed to be the last first-past-the-post election. That's where, okay. you know, you, you vote for the person, the person that gets the most votes wins. They don't take any consideration to the second or third options um, for individuals. So, so there, there's some flaws in our system, and um, we were promised electoral reform, which would totally deal with the issue of, you know, this vote um, splitting um, okay. uh, theory. But, you know, honestly, I think that, you know, liberals came up with this as a way to get elected last time around. They made Harper, uh, they portrayed him, uh, and the NDP as well, as that scary Harper conservative um, service cutting um, government that it was and it would continue to be under Harper. Um, and, and we see that in Ontario with Ford. So, so there is fear that you know the Liberals have been uh, uh, sending out there uh, that that's going to happen again. And, and and I don't disagree that that the Conservatives will will do something. They'll, they'll cut more. That's what they do. They cut more services and they cut taxes for the the richest uh, Canadians. Um, but you know the true path is electoral reform and. I don't see that the NDP and the Liberals are really on the same page here. There's, they haven't, they've had a, a four years to show that they were progressive, a progressive government. They have not done that. They have failed to deliver on those promises. So, uh, in so many ways, um, which we can get into maybe hopefully if we, yeah, we do absolutely. another one of specific to policy. But uh, you know, there's only a clear choice in Chapman and Leamington for a more progressive option, and that is with the NDP, with myself. Um, so, if you want cuts to services so that the richest people in Canada can get ahead, you know, you can go conservative. If you don't want to change anything, you're happy with, with all the cuts that have been made and you want to improve it, you can stay with, with Liberals. But if you want change that's going to focus on, um, you know, improvements to pharmacare, um, you know, tackling climate change and having a government that's in it for you, a representative that's in it for you, then you, there's only one clear choice. That progressive vote has to go to, to myself and the NDP. That was a, that was a good uh, <laughs> line there, good stuff there. Um, now, in, in Canada, we're a little bit different than the United States. In the United States, you vote for your president and yeah. then vote for Congress and all that. In, in Canada, we vote for our riding, the person in our riding. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can, you can agree with the leader and then you can agree... Uh, with your person, or you can disagree and, and vote this way. Uh, does that help you? Do you believe? Um, you know, um, 
Yeah, I, I think it's because people it's are a, getting to know you. Yeah, right? sure. I think it's a fair. I think it's a fair uh, system. So, uh, you know, if elected, I represent you. I represent you. I represent everyone here in Chatham Kent Leamington. I don't represent the 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 leaders' issues. I represent our issues here in Chatham Kent Leamington. Now, is there common ground and is there discussion about prioritizing the needs of all of Canada? Yeah, sure. There's going to be those conversations. At least I hope that there's those conversations. Right. But um, I, you know, I can. I'm an individual that can be very convincing. I can, I can, I can hold an argument about why the needs of those of us here in Champion Leamington are a priority to all of Ontario and all right. of Canada. And so I feel that as a rep representative here, if, if chosen, if elected, um, I'd be a great choice to, to champion the needs of Chatham Kent Leamington. And are we going to see, uh, is it Jagmeet Singh? Mm -hmm. I, sometimes I say Yagmeet, <laughs> Jagmeet. Um, are we going to be seeing him possibly in the Chatham Kent uh, Leamington area? Um, hard to say. They're, they hold that, um, that his schedule very close. Mm -hmm. Last time we did have the leader come through. Yep. Um, we do know that uh, Jagmeet started his campaign in London, not too far away from us here. Mm -hmm. um, he also has a lot of roots in Windsor. So, you know, my hope is that if, if when he's passing through to Windsor at some point, that I can get a little bit of FaceTime with yeah. him. Uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, but, you know, if not, um, I'm working hard. Um, mm -hmm. I'm making myself available. Yep. And, um, you know, I, I want to make sure that everyone knows that, you know, it's very easy to get a hold of me directly. Right. You know, TonyWalsh.NDP.ca, that's my site. Mm -hmm. You've got ways to message me, uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter, uh, my cell phone. I think that number's up there too. Yeah. So if you want to how, reach out, how do people get easy. involved in helping you in your campaign? Yeah, well, the start, I guess, would be uh, go to the TonyWalsh.NDP.ca website, and there are uh, tabs on my website where you can get in contact directly with my team or myself to, to reach out. Even if you're just inquiring, you want to know what that might look like, yep. I, I'll expand the volunteer team to include whatever way you want yeah. to help out. Absolutely. Now, I've always volunteered with uh, campaigns in the past, and it's always been an enjoying experience. Um, and what can what can a volunteer learn? Campaign, you know, helping any campaign, but specifically yours, mm -hmm. if you want to go into detail. But in general, what do they learn about the community, about the people in the community, and about the issues that the people have in yeah. the community? Well, I, I think you get to learn quite a bit. So myself as a volunteer, what I've been able to learn is that a lot of people do care. Um, it, it may not always make the front page, uh, some of the issues that are facing us here in Chatham, Kent, Leamington, um, but people care and they pay attention. And so when you get to get out there and, and, and volunteer and you talk to folks, uh, whether you're making phone calls or whether you're going door to door um, or whether it's on social media, you find out that the people do care. And that's inspiring. It's inspiring to know that people care about where they live. They care about the broader picture of, of Canada and its place in, in the world. And uh, it's inspiring and motivating. So I, I would encourage anyone who's never volunteered to, uh, even if it's not with a political party in the campaign, you can volunteer with any of your local charities. There is always uh, a place for someone who wants to volunteer with our Getting nonprofits involved. and charities here in Chatham County, Lincoln. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a community that knows how to do it. We, we, we do it very well. Um, we, we always uh, like to work together and help one another mm -hmm. out. And that's what you get to see firsthand and inspires you and, and engages you that you want to do more. Yeah. What got me into this in the first place. Yeah. Now we're going to be talking uh, more detailed policy later, but in Chatham Kent, uh, as a realtor, I know the people trying to get into homes that are affordable, yeah. trying to rent homes for affordable rent. Mm. And it's getting very, very tough for people, especially people trying to rent, starting out uh, young families, uh, both working, mm. you know, they have work, but yeah. their minimum wage job uh, work that don't necessarily make cover everything sure yeah. you know what do you guys have a strategy overall because this is not just it's not limited to Chatham Kent Limited yeah it's it's all over the place yeah. but is there a strategy in place at all uh, for that yeah there is a strategy there's a there's a housing strategy so uh, we do want to make um, 500,000 uh, affordable homes nationwide want to start with that and uh, that you know that'll get more people into homes um, and but more than that, I think if you you have to also tackle some of the issues in the big cities um, where we've got foreign investors coming in. So we do want to implement a foreign investor tax um, so that uh, it, it stops speculation, foreign 
platform bodies from speculating and yeah. driving up prices. Um, so we need to, we do need to tackle that. Right now, it's at a municipal level uh, in Toronto, but then those those foreign investors just go to another big city. Right. So so we need to tackle that nationally. Um, we don't see that as much in in Chatham. So you know what we can do in Chatham, Kent, Leamington, I think, is focus on making life more affordable for everyone, mm-hmm. so that they can afford those mortgages. Now we also want to bring back a 30-year amortization with CMHC. I don't want to get into the weeds too much with people there because I am a banker. I I know this stuff, but it just allows uh, payments to be a little bit um, lower, more affordable for, for folks, and just extend the amount of time it takes to pay off the house. Right. So houses prices are where they're at, and we need to have realistic goals to get people into those homes. Absolutely. Yeah, because that's a, that's a big issue everywhere, yeah. uh, and that's going to continue to be a big issue. Um, now, we talked about a little bit about uh, the Liberal NDP and the vote split there. How do, what, what can the NDPs do? What can you do to, to swing a voter from the conservative? Or <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen from the yeah. PPC, but yeah. you know, most people live in the middle yeah. where yeah. They, can, they can go back and forth or whatever sure. on, depending. But you know, how, how do you get the conservatives to come over? Yeah, I know it's, uh, it, it's, it's tough, but I think uh, most folks, at least the ones in Chatham and Leamington that I've, I've spoken to, um, they're, they want to get to know the person behind the, the party color, right. and they vote for the person. There are some folks that you'll, you'll never get them to switch, you yeah. know, but, um, but that's okay. That, that's all right. That's their choice. But for those that um, care about the person representing them, um, then I would say you know, what I can do to, to, to win that vote is, is just to, to really show that I am someone that cares about Everyone here in Chatham County, Leamington, I am in it for them. Um, I, I'm willing to fight. I'm willing to bring issues that are uh, important to, to to our folks here in Chatham County, Leamington, up to the national level, so it gets it gets some recognition and uh, it gets noticed, and we can actually put plans in place to make life more affordable and better for all of us here. Awesome. And as we get further into this uh, campaign, we're going to see more social media stuff and yeah. usually it's uh, it doesn't really hit local too much unless you're into a toronto area yeah uh where they really start bashing the candidates <laughs> but they don't hesitate to bash any of the leaders yes yes okay yes. How leaders does, are they're free yeah, game they, they, <laughs> it's almost like a game for people uh yeah. how do you you i know you got a young family there but you you still have uh you know older family friends mm-hmm. brothers sisters yeah. um how do they handle that social media and how do you handle the social media the yeah. the bad stuff which every sure. candidate's going to deal with yeah so there's you know i mean touch wood there there it has not been mudslinging here in chatham kent leamington you know a lot of respect for the folks that have put their name forward from the other parties uh back in 2015 and and this time around and i think there's a mutual respect there so um but that doesn't stop other folks that uh like to Try to influence uh, on social yep. media. I think it's it's one of those things where you just you can review it, but you gotta laugh at it, and yep. you can't take it too serious. And it's the same thing with with the good stuff. You know, someone could be praising you online, and and uh, you know you can read that hype, but if you start believing the hype, then I don't think you start. I, I think you stop being sincere and you stop being who you mm-hmm. are. So so you know, stick to your messaging. Um, uh, of, of what's important to, to you as an individual. Right. That's what I try to do. And, you know, if there's going to be haters out there, I don't pay too much attention. I like the balanced feedback. So, yeah. and you can tell there's a big difference between someone who's just hating yeah. and someone who's like, hey, do this instead of that. Mm-hmm. It's different. Uh, as far as the family members, yeah, that's a little tougher because they take it, I think, more personal. Yes, they do. Um, they, they, they have no control. They can just see and read. Yeah. Uh, I ask them not to read those things, <laughs> and uh, but uh, and, you know, and I explain it to my kids. I say, yeah. hey, you know what? There's some people that might want to make me look bad, so that their party can get elected. I yeah, said, we're not going to do that. We're going to focus on the positive. You know that I'm not a bad guy. You know mm-hmm. that I care very much about you and your friends and your friends' parents and yeah. everyone here, and I'm going to fight hard to make life better for their, everyone. So when you go in it with that uh, type of uh, philosophy. I think it doesn't matter what anyone says. Right. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Now, uh, before we get to, to wrapping this up, you were telling me a little bit before about you were a nerd and you're into comic books <laughs> yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit of a nerd. So, yeah, I'm a nerdy banker. You know, I, 
I like to sharpen my pencil and crunch numbers and, and, and help people attain their goals. But I'm actually a, you know, a more of a geek when it comes to pop culture. You know, before it was popular, you know, it, I was, you know, into the Dungeons and Dragons uh, as a kid and comic books and the board games and video games and all that stuff. Um, and, and now it's not much different except I have my kids I can play with. <laughs> um, but now, you know, I've got the comic book collection. I collect uh, toys as well. So, so the kids have their toys. I have my toys. Some come out of the package. Some stay in the package. It all depends. Um, but no, I'm, 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 I love uh, being in this golden age of the geek, I like to call it, okay. where you've got Marvel, DC, Star Wars, everyone making these great movies, Transformers. All the time it seems right now. It's, it's nonstop. In fact, I, don't, I can't even prioritize getting to all the content. There's so much good content out there. <laughs> um, it's uh, you know the last three Marvel movies I didn't see in the theater, which is... Uh, I, uh, you know, that's devastating for me, but mm -hmm. you know, thank goodness for streaming services yeah. and uh, can, can watch them later. But uh, no, it's, it, life is great. You know, I have a, have a, a family of, of kids that are into that sort of thing as well. And, and uh, we just have, have fun. So yeah, I, that's a whole other segment, Ben. I can come in and we can do a geek <laughs> chat with, uh, with Tony and we can take calls in and stuff. I, yeah. I love that sort of thing too. <laughs> so that's uh, very passionate about, uh, about that hobby. Awesome. Now, if people uh, have questions or anything, they're going to throw it into the comment section and I encourage you guys to do so. You can probably get back to them yeah. as well as people generally, uh, I get messages after, how do I get a sign? How do I get mm. a volunteer and stuff yep. like that or donate to the campaign? Uh, so if you could throw that information in there after and you guys can read that and get that. Uh, mm. So we're going to wrap it up with uh, two questions. Uh, why is it so important to vote and it doesn't matter who you're voting for, but voting in general as mm -hmm. a Canadian citizen. And why should they vote for you? Yeah, so I guess, uh, you know, it is important to vote. It's one of the few options we have to be heard, to have our voices heard. So um, even if you aren't impressed with any of the folks on the list, you still show up and, and write that down. Spoil that ballot. Make your voice heard that way. I think it's very important that, that you show up um, so that your voice can be heard. Um, it's, up to, it's up to me. It's mm -hmm. up to the rest of the folks vying for this position to engage folks um, to make it matter so that they show up and vote. It's not, it's not just up to the individual to show up. It's up to us to inspire someone to want to vote. And, uh, you know, so to do my part to engage you um, to vote for me, I, I would say, you know, I, I'm in it for you. And what does that mean? That means that I'm going to uh, help the government tackle some of the difficult challenges that we're faced with when it comes to things that are important to folks uh, here in Chatham Kent Leamington. Things like the environment, things like the economy, things like affordable housing, um, our pharmacare, you know, Medicare and pharmacare for all, uh, expanding it. These are important issues that folks in Champion Leamington want to talk about and they want solutions. I'm going to be a voice for all of you. Uh, I'm in it for you and we're gonna, I'm going to help bring some of those changes uh, to Ottawa so it impacts all of us. Awesome. Now, do you bring your kids to, to vote with you to, to the polling stations? Um, they were a little young last time. They have told me that they want to come. Awesome. This time. They, I, they've come out for uh, provincial and federal. I've, now that they're a little bit older, yeah. the last couple of elections. So, yeah, the, the plan is oh, now, unless I go while they're at school, because yeah. uh, uh, usually we do we go early. Um, right. The early voting, but uh, but yeah, I think they'll they'll want to come. They're very interested in it this time around. Awesome. Okay, election day is October twenty first. This is Tony Walsh, NDP candidate, federal uh, Chatham Kent Leamington. Thanks, Tony, for stopping by, <laughs> Thanks, and Ken. we'll see you again soon. And again, if you guys like Tony, hit the share button, hit the like button, comment. If you don't like Tony and you don't think this went well, and you're <laughs> against the NDPs, share it as well. So good stuff. Thank you very much, and thank you, Tony. Thanks, Talk Tony. to you guys soon.